Mask giveaway at the Xfinity Theater in Hartford was such a success, we handed out nearly 50,000 masks to thousands of people who really need them. And we're not stopping there. We have another mask giveaway planned for Saturday at Naugatuck Valley Community College in Waterbury from 7 a.m. until 1 p.m. It was originally set for Friday, but we had to move it Saturday due to that forecast and the rain in that forecast that Bruce was just talking about. This Masks for Connecticut 3 Cares event is a collaboration with the Jewish Federation of Greater New Haven, Webster Bank, and WTIC News Talk 1080. And joining me now to talk about the upcoming mask giveaway is Pastor Will Marotti. He is the host of WTIC News Talk 1080 in the morning and a pastor at New Life Church in Meriden. Pastor Will, good to see you back here on the program. Hey, Dennis, how are you? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Your audience has helped raise more than apparently $50,000 for Mass for Connecticut. Talk about that support and how it came about. Yeah, it's really amazing. You know, we just have an incredibly uh, generous, sacrificial audience. And uh, I found out about this mask uh, giveaway uh, the first day it happened. But actually, Bob Stefanowski called me. He was on his way down to New Jersey with uh, Pat Sester and Truck. He said, hey, we're getting some masks. We're going to give away. Would you promote it? I said, yeah, sure. So a couple of days later, Bob came on the program and uh, about 935 and talked to us, gave us the website, masksforheroesct.org. And uh, we started, I said, I said to the audience, I said, guys, this is great. You know, raising money for people who need masks desperately, keeping it right here in Connecticut. It's a wonderful cause and just challenged them throughout the show. So the first day we raised about $14,000 just in about two hours and 40 minutes. And then uh, we just kept it going. So uh, through Friday, we uh, raised over $50,000 for masks and we had some matching gifts come in. So it's put us over $60,000. It's given us enough to buy and, and distribute about 81,000 masks. Pastor, on your show in the past, you and when Mr. Stefanowski has called in have been very critical of Governor Lamont and his policies in the past. How do you think he's been handling the state's response to the pandemic? Do you think he's doing a good job? I think he's doing the best he can. I think the only criticism I would have, Dennis, is, uh, you know, communication is so important when you're the leader. And so every every word you have people hanging on, particularly small business leaders. So a couple of weeks ago, he came out and made a statement, well, we're going to open the state across uh, two to six months. Well, that sent everybody into panic mode. So I, the only criticism I would say is extremely careful with how you present things and how you communicate. Are waiting on every pastor as a uh, as a pastor. When do you think churches should reopen? Uh, seven weeks ago. Pastor, I'm, I'm sorry. We we wanted the answer to that question, and we're yeah, going to have four to... o'clock. OK, so uh, I, I, I hope soon. I hope I hope within uh, a few weeks. If we can just get that answer one more time, because you were cut off, we had some technical issues. So when did you think churches should reopen? You believe that they never should have closed? I, I hope within a few weeks. I mean, you know, we talk about May 20th. He said there might be a plan coming out next week. I think with, uh, you know, social distancing and checking temperatures and and uh, keeping, uh, you know, capacities down, I, I see no reason why churches couldn't begin in a couple of weeks. Do you believe they should have been closed the last month? Yes. Yeah, I think there was too much, too many unknowns. There was too many things we didn't understand about the virus. It, it would not have been wise. It would not have been safe to keep, you know, packing hundreds of people into buildings and, and not really knowing what the outcome would be. Pastor Will Marotti from New Life Church Emerita and WTSC News Talk 1080. We thank you so much for being in the program. We'll see you soon. Thank you, Dennis.